Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Majid Nasrallah. I am a Palestinian Christian. I am 57 years old. I work as a tour guide for English and German languages since 1998. Uh, now we notice that uh, tourism uh, fall down dramatically as a result of the political situation. Some people are scared. They are. Uh, to come to the Holy Land, to this country. Many of my colleagues left the country uh, because they uh, did not have uh, work. Uh, we are few people who decided to stay in this land and to uh, struggle. My father had six uh, sisters. Uh, and uh, During the late 40s and 50s, the women at that time, they didn't work. So my father, he was staff nurse, so he decided to open an olive wood workshop near his uh, home. He worked in the evening uh, as staff nurse and he worked during the day uh, to carve olive wood. Uh, he had to work double shifts so that to feed his family. I inherited this uh, workshop from my father. And uh, as I work as a tour guide, I don't have a full-time work uh, because there isn't always work. That means I have a lot of time I work in my workshop. Life here in uh, Palestine and in Israel is very expensive. I decided with few uh, colleagues to open a web page. This web page called uh, the Wood of Peace uh, com in order to market our products all over the world. Uh, the idea that if tourists they don't come to us, we uh, go to them and selling online is the future as everybody knows. Everybody carves differently. Everybody has speciality. One carver uh, doesn't make everything. Olive wood carving is a special craft. It used to be uh, totally handmade. Uh, 50 years ago. I have a picture which shows my father and my eldest brothers as uh, they were working uh, in a workshop. So we are not talking about factory, about a very big mass production. We are talking about handmade. We are talking about special uh, uh, craft which we've learned uh, during the 13th century uh, from uh, St. Francis of Assisi who told us how to carve the uh, uh, nativity sets, crèche, crypts, in order to house Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, the animals, etc., like you see. Uh, we are a few artisans, again, decided to have a good quality of work. You can see that the color of olive wood is natural color. It is totally colorful. It is the most beautiful wood in the whole world. Uh, it has special grain as a result of the age and the warmth of the climate and many other factors. What we like uh, to show in our webpage, pieces comes from the olive roots. It's not just olive wood, but from the olive roots. And um, uh, each piece is totally distinguished, is totally uh, unique. Which means if you are going to buy this piece, which is from the roots, it shows a genuine olive uh, uh, roots, uh, crib uh, uh, housing, the holy family, three kings, the three shepherds, cow and donkey, sheep, camels, etc. And uh, this is, you find it once in your life. You can never find two pieces the same. We are going to show the color of the bark of the wood. Uh, on the other hand, you can find also olive wood nativity sets which is uh, not unique, not one of a kind, which you can find it in many other places in different sizes. Of course, the price has to do with the quality of work, has to do with the, uh, with the time we make to make the figures, has to do with the, how distinguished the model, if you can find it, has to do with the color, with the quality of food, and many uh, other factors. We are um, showing in our webpage thewoodofpeace.com. We called it the Wood of Peace because we believe that promoting the olive tree will help 
in the cause of peace in the region, especially here, uh, especially the Israelis and Palestinians, where we have also uh, some tension between two of them. Uh, we think that buying this product and talking about the olive tree and raising the olive branch as a symbol of peace commemorates also Jesus praying with his disciples on the Mount of Olives as well as on the Garden of Gethsemane commemorating uh, the uh, Palm Sunday when people are raising the olive branches commemorating Jesus uh, going in solitary place in the Garden of Gethsemane or even in, um, uh, on the Mount of Olives. Uh, olive tree represents our roots. It, what does that mean? It means it lives more than 2,000 years. So it represents us, it represents uh, the people, it represents my ancestors. So uh, it is very important for us, uh, this tree symbolic. For us. When I'm going to show a nativity set, very beautiful nativity set, to children, kindergarten, uh, from uh, four to seven or eight years. When I'm talking about the message of Jesus or the story of birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, it is very important. On the other hand, visualizing the, uh, the thing is very important for children so that they will understand better the message of Jesus, the message which talks about um, hope, peace, and love. From the uh, wordofpeace.com, I'd like always to say that we are looking forward. We have peace on earth, uh, peace to the world, and joy to the world here. Uh, so the major thing is to spread the word of the gospel. As Christians, we like to stay in this land. Uh, we were born here. God wants us to be here. And uh, in order to stay here, we need to survive and uh, we like to sell our products. We are offering very good qualities in very reasonable prices. Uh, this is as a beginning, I just wanted to talk with you. In order to see me, I represent uh, a few artisans. Here's from the area of Bethlehem, which we call the uh, olive wood. And uh, uh, we are looking forward to make some exhibitions all over the world from one side uh, to spread the word of Jesus and from the other side to sell our products in order to support uh, our families here and there. We are looking forward to hear from you. Thank you very much and God bless. I'm Leslie, and I'm here in Palestine, in Bethlehem. I just want you to know the images that you've seen aren't always what's here. I have found the Palestinian people very friendly, very warm, very opening. And they are really hurting economically because we don't have many tourists coming. So I want to encourage you to think about coming. Come, visit, purchase things, help the Palestinians. They really have need. Their suffering is great come and be a part of this land, this holy land that's very special to Christians, Jews, and Muslims. We do this for many things. Of course, the important thing is uh, the money, you know, we want to live. So this is something we live from it. Uh, the second thing, I like to do this work because uh, I find myself in this job, you know, I find myself because uh, this is art, you know, and I like the art.
I am George from Bethlehem. I work in Olivewood since 10 years ago. And this is the symbol of Christianity. It's cross and it goes like that for praying for who's ill and need uh, for uh, help and he has difficulty difficulties and we have also the star of Bethlehem where Jesus born and we make it like candle holder also this is the oldest symbol of Christianity the fish we make it the same thing and we looking for you to uh, have uh, email us in the website www.thewoodofpeace.com I am Salim from Bethlehem. I have worked in Olive Road since uh, 50 years. It's quiet now because the uh, political uh, situation so a uh, tourist uh, afraid uh, to come uh, here in Bethlehem. My name is Luai. I'm uh, from Bethlehem. I work in uh, Olive Wood. Uh, since 10 years, uh, I look uh, forward uh, to sell our products all over the world. My name is Joseph. I work all of both. I live in Bethlehem. My name is Nabil, I'm from Bethlehem. Uh, I work on Drexel uh, Olive Wood. Uh, I make uh, small jars, big jars. I make uh, box like this one uh, with cover for sugar, uh, sugar bowl.
My name is Samir. I'm from in Bethlehem and work in Hollywood. I'd like to show you the crypts and the caves which we make. It is one piece. It shows the barks of it. Each piece is different, you cannot find two pieces the same. So we take the wooden piece and we cut it the way we think it's beautiful to look like a crib or crash, and we empty it from inside like you see. Uh, this is not uh, ready, we have to dry it because olive wood it has water, it has oil, it has to be dried 12 months in shade. After it is dried, uh, the olive wood becomes very hard. And the reason we dry it so that it will not crack in the future. Anyhow, the, uh, the crash we are showing you, it is not uh, finished. We will make here, for example, Star of Bethlehem. We, we make some rocks. Uh, we shape things uh, so that uh, it becomes a very beautiful piece. Okay, I'd like to show you how we finish our work. We finish it using special tools, uh, which uh, we make specially to carve olive wood. This is what we uh, call it handmade. We have different kind of tools, which we finish work, like uh, I have shown you uh, finishing the work of this camel. So it's important to know that we begin using the machines, we finish using uh, the tools, which is handmade. I am proud of this tradition and uh, I'd like just to mention that this work we make it with a lot of faith and this work we make it with our hearts and with our soul. Mm -hmm.